Hey, Garden Friends and Family, it's Judy from A Girl in the Garden coming to you from Chicagoland Zone 5B. Today, um, I'm going to be doing a, another tray of herbs. So I'm just going to take you along. It shouldn't take us forever. I already have my soil in here. I have all my labels made. Um, and I'm just going to talk about why I'm doing it. Um, right now, where my brain is, is we're going to do two cells of everything and then if I want to go back and do more like basil or cilantro or oregano then I'll come back and I'll do more takes of those but right now I'm just doing two of my herbs um so the first one I'm going to do is summery savory I have never grown this before um I've had a couple recipes who's needed who needed it and there is expensive it's and so I'm like, well, if I just do a couple plants and I can dry it or I can freeze dry it or I can make it into cubes, ice cubes. Um, so yeah, that's, that's what we're going to do with this. So have you guys started your seeds yet? Have you, what are you planning? I know um, I have a video coming out with just peppers and all the different kinds of peppers that I'm doing. And I have one coming out with just all the kinds of tomatoes I'm doing. Um, but I feel like herbs kind of gets, it's something that we always use, but we don't talk about it. This one's Italian um, oregano. And then I have a Greek oregano as well. It looks like I forgot to make a tag for that one, so I'm going to do that. Um, typically, you see how tiny those seeds are? Normally I'd be like, oh, one or two per cell, but these are so tiny, I'm just going to kind of sprinkle them in and we'll see what we get now these are some that i do um do outside as well so these are actually so let me go back hold on i don't know the difference between oregano and greek i know one is a little bit more potent and it has a lot more flavor to it we like oregano oregano and um everything so <laughs> we, we put it in all of our dishes. Um, I cook with it. I, I make a seed or a seasoning blend. So we'll use these, um, but yeah. So these are so stinking tiny. Look at these seeds. I always forget every year how tiny these seeds are. And then they grow into such big, beautiful plants. and such wonderful flavor they're so tiny so tiny um, we're doing a couple different kinds of cilantro we're doing a leisure cilantro a lemon cilantro a regular cilantro and then um, a colon natro so it's like a um, parsley cilantro I'll show you here we're gonna be doing it um, in a couple seconds so when you plant these you want to go half as deep as wide. So for like these cilantros, because they're little balls, right? We're just going to push them down just a smidge. And then we'll go back in and we'll follow um, with some soil and some vermiculite. Now the savory and the oregano's, um, all I did was just sprinkle them on top. And those will just get um, vermic uh, vermiculite. So we're doing, and this in the lemon cilantro, we're doing three. I already have some of these already started. Um, so I just want a couple, I just want more. I love herbs. I love doing different things with them. I love eating them fresh. I love um, dehydrating them. I love freeze drying. I make, um, you can blend them up and you can make and put them in ice cube trays and then you can put them in you know anything that you're making if you're boiling water you can do that or if you're doing um just is a lot it's you know just for flavor when you're doing mashed potatoes or if you want to throw them in while you're doing green beans or you know just so many different things so i got cilantro here i'm my sister gave me a whole bunch of these little packages and then I forgot I had these so I just kind of want to see which one grows better 
So we're kind of doing a lot of experimenting on our herbs, whether it's a commercial like burpee or if it's like from in my gardener, um, and just see what kind of result we get from them. Just, you know, to see. And then this is what I was telling you about the cilantro. I have no idea. Let's see, it says the Mexican heirloom has a stronger and more uh, pungent cilantro flavor than its cousin, meant for use in small amounts of flavor, hot dishes like soups, marinades, and stews. So yeah, we'll see what it tastes like. Take you along for the ride. But look at these. See, their seeds are so much different and smaller than the cousin cilantro. So we're just going to do these in here. And we're doing a lot because I'm not going to just do two. We'll figure it out, right? So now we're doing... Shoot. Did I put those in the wrong one? Oh, no. no. Oh, well. So we're doing rosemary. And again, this is one that my sister gave me. She got them somewhere for Christmas, so I'm not sure exactly where they came from. But we love rosemary. We love eating it fresh. We love eating it dry. Um, so we're just going to stick that baby in there. And again, this is another one that's just going to be um, vermiculite over it. So that was from that company. This is from Burpee. So all these take, we are going to have a lot of rosemary, which I'm okay with. Next one we're going to do is tarragon. And this is from In My Gardener. I had a dream the other night. It was so weird. I had a dream that I had all these seeds and I had this massive greenhouse and I planted every single seed that I had and every single seed took and I had like nine acres of just garden space. Um, dream come true, right? Scary dream, but a dream. Um, an exciting dream. So I have two th uh, time. So I've already done this one in my other one. So I'm just going to kind of pass on that one. And I'm going to do this because I know that the other ones that I planted of this are already up. Okay, lemon balm. Never done lemon balm before. Sorry, I should have showed you this. And this is the only packet I have. So we'll see. They turn out, they turn out. They don't, they don't, right? I mean, we're not going to be mad at it. Italian parsley. We'll see how this actually goes. Now I have some dill. My dill is current. Um, well, let's get through with parsley and then I'll tell you my dill story. We really don't eat a whole lot of parsley. We'll do some. I'm not going to do as many seeds. I'll probably just do like two or three in each. We just don't go through it. We don't use it as often as cilantro or tarragon. We use more um, dill. I make a lot of pickles, so we'll do that. Now, my dill is a perennial here in Zone 5B Chicagoland. Um, so I have some plants from years past, but I am going to do just a couple just a couple seeds. These are pretty big that I can control. So I'm just going to do two seeds in each tray because I don't think I'm going to need much more than that. So this is where it's going to get fun. Everything right here 
is all basil. Yay! So we got one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 42 slots of bagel. Basil. Bagels. I must be hungry. So I think what I'm going to do is. Well, let me count here. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. All right, so I'm going to do, I got 42. I'm going to do three of each. And then I'm going to save my Genevieve's for the last. And then that could be in whatever's left. Actually, my sweet basil. That one's going to be my last one. All right, so here we go. We got Italian. So we're gonna do three. Now this one we use a lot. Um, we make a lot of pesto. And we do, these are ones that we do ice cube trays with too. Um, there's just so many different things you can do with them that it's just it's just crazy. Um, this one, the tag, I don't know where the tag went. I know it's in there. So now we're gonna do ruffle, purple ruffle. And I know some of these are gonna be container ones because they're so small. So we're just moving right along. I'm so excited that this project is not taking all the way. I, mean, I feel like I've been planting seeds for weeks. Oh wait, I have been, but I can't wait. I cannot wait to our last frost date. Um, our last frost date is April 27th. So super excited for that to be coming along. Now these were gifted to me um, in a seed swap. I have no idea. Manalo, mana, mammoth, mammoth, maybe, but it doesn't look like mammoth. I don't know. Maybe someone else can read. Um, so we're gonna try it. I didn't do these because I was in a seed swap. This is what I got. Um, never grown it. So if you have, awesome. Let me know. Okay. I'm only trying to do, well, whatever's in my hand is what I'm doing. So, but I'm trying to control it when I dump it out. These pegs are so stinking tiny. Look how small those are. All right, here's my tie basil. I'm gonna loosen that up a little. Now, typically with my Thai basil, I usually let go to seed, um, and that becomes my pollinator for the area. I still use it as a deterrent for insects and bugs, you know, and as a companion plant, which is great, but I typically let these go to seeds just to, um, just so leave my other stuff alone and then I'm doing a whole bunch of flowers too this year so I'm hoping I can really just get happy and have a good crop of a little bit of everything this year next we're doing cardinal basil another one I'm just gonna go let's see I don't have a whole lot of those anyway so we're just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. There's my African tag. I knew I had it. Okay. All right. Now we're doing our Persian. I've never, I've never grown these. These are new. 
Well, I bought them last year, but I didn't do anything with them. These seeds are a little bit bigger, so that's nice. Ooh, that would have been close. Are y'all klutzy just like I am? I'm telling you. Oof. are but today it's nice ish out um, it's nice but it's windy the sun is finally shining I can't believe that we oh, I'm just over winter so over winter be outside long days in my garden in my happy place it's weird um you know my happy place is my garden I hope you know you guys can find a happy place within your garden I hope if you're gardening you're doing it for more than just growing food um, for me it's a piece it's my moment my time where I can just be oh, relaxed and just just there for me and I think we all need that you know I think we all need to have a little space of our own so I'm good with that and I support anybody who who, who needs that these are lemon basil that we're doing right now we like lemon basil in our um, all our lemonade And this one's going to be our African basil. Never had this one. I bought it this year. So we'll just see. We'll see what it turns out to be. A lot of these basils are going to be companion plants, um, but we're going to do a lot of things with them. So multi-purpose. And I can appreciate that. Now, our last set of six is going to be our sweet, and we are doing more of those than anything, just because this is what we use the most of. So we're gonna open up this package and we're gonna see how many seeds are in here. And we just may over sow. Shoot, there's a lot in there. Okay. We'll see what we could come up with. Definitely we'll be weeding some of these out or I might be sticking them in multiple places. So we'll see. Look, there's still a lot in there. I'm going to put these back in there. All right, well, I'm going to put some vermiculite, vermiculite on these things. Um, I'm going to get them on my heat mat, and then that will be the end of this video. But I wanted to just say thank you for coming along. Thank you for listening to me ramble. Um, leave your comments below if you have started your seeds. What are you starting? How many are you starting? Are you doing a massive craziness like this? Or are you doing more? It would be nice to see if someone's doing more. So we're just going to... those top down in there cover up these are the cilantros so we did two of everything except for basil and then we did three of all of our basils except for our sweet and then we did six and I'm okay with that that's a uh, now, what I decide not to use will be going to friends. I did have some friends who requested that I did some. Um, and those were basically the ones that I did earlier and that have already come up and been up top. I'm just going to give this a little drink. I'm going to put the dome lid on it.
going to put our mess away. Now I won't underbottom them just because they the soil is wet. We're going to make sure we give those a good drink. And that is what we have. So I just want to say thank you for coming along with me today as I plant my 72 cell count of herbs. Um, until next time, happy planting.